Hey folks, it's Feroz here. So the other day I installed a model file from Hugging Face and then thought, wait, what if this isn't just math weights? What if it's executable code from an attacker? What if this is a backdoor into my environment? So if you're loading models from Hugging Face, then stay tuned because this video is for you. So we've always helped devs and security teams protect dependencies, libraries, packages, but now more and more the thing that you're trusting isn't just code, it's actually a model file. And so the thing is that's running in your environment, it's a big file, it has a lot of privilege. And the Hugging Face Hub we've seen grow super fast. The data set there now is absolutely massive. There's 2 million models, 500,000 data sets, and a million demo apps. So this is actually on par with ecosystems like JavaScript's NPM and Python's PyPI. And so this is like a serious source of untrusted third-party code. And so models carry all the sorts of the same risks. There's deserialization attacks from pickle files, there's payloads hidden in TensorFlow or Keras layers, and there's also malicious metadata hidden in GGUF and Llama file formats. So we at Socket asked ourselves, if we protect code supply chains, why not protect model supply chains too? So that's why we built Hugging Face support directly into Socket. If you're a Socket SCA or ThreatFeed customer already, then you get this for free. So it works via a simple API. You can hit the API with a specific Hugging Face model that you're using in your environment, and you'll get back all the security information that you're used to from Socket. So you get scores, you'll get, of course, whether or not it's malicious, and any other findings that we have around different threats present within the model file. And if you're using AI bombs, which are, to be fair, not widely used yet, but an exciting standard similar to an SBOM that can help you capture all different AI models in your environment, you can also send that to us as well, and we'll send you back all the results for those models. So check out Socket by visiting socket.dev to see how you can start scanning your Hugging Face models with Socket today. Thanks, guys.